first. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Renee Cooper. Thanks for watching KX News. Nicholas and Lauren are on assignment tonight. Television, social media, the internet. Almost everywhere you look, there's news of heartache for the people of the world. A planet wounded by wars, floods, and fires. Lauren Culver sat down with sister Nancy Gunderson of the Bismarck's Annunciation Monastery, who prays daily for the world as we know it. And she does it in a very special way. There's so much devastation. It's a wound on the whole world, if you look at the planet, because it's such a special place. Today, Sister Nancy Gunderson prays about what's happening in Australia, wildfires ravaging the country. And I don't know what happens to the birds. And um, so I'm painting the birds as I'm thinking about Australia and praying for the country, the healing of the land, and the people. She calls it praying the news. I can't be everywhere. Um, so I can send prayer and... Um, the desire for comfort, the desire for help. Um, then I know these people are not totally alone. She prays for the people affected, for the koalas and kangaroos that are losing their habitat, and for birds native to the country. Today she's working on the little blue wren. It's found in central Australia. It's a very tiny bird. And it has a sweet little sound. And I think one of the most exciting birds for me is the middle, the middle bird behind you. It's the kookaburra. And um, the kookaburra makes a laughing sound like a human laugh. So he's an interesting little fellow. She's gotten to know the birds of the land intimately and the stories behind them. She carefully paints the birds on a cloth canvas, then spends hours on a long arm quilting machine, stitching, all the while praying. The stitching I did is to look like the grubs that he eats. He's a He's a part of the kingfisher family, but he doesn't really like water, and he doesn't eat fish, but he eats grubs. Sister Gunderson has been praying the news for 10 years now, not always through words of prayer, but through works of prayer like this one. And can you pray while you paint? The answer is an emphatic yes. You can do both. I think painting is an expression of prayer. We can pray more than being on our knees and pray in different ways. We can pray while we work and work while we pray. So I can paint while I pray. In Bismarck for KX News, I'm Lauren Kalber. Well, she doesn't just pray for the birds and animals of Australia. She says it's the wounded places in the world where the wars are, where people are suffering. It's our borders, it's our homeless. She's been praying for the news for the last 10 years through her artwork, and she has some incredible pieces to show for all the pain of the planet.